Hey YouTube, back again with another video showing you a Model 3 going through a roundabout. Keep in mind I always keep my hands on the wheel just like Tesla recommends. So this current software version isn't really designed to go through a roundabout, but it still does a pretty good job considering the software I'm on. You can see me here manually slowing down the car. I'm trying to set this autopilot up for success by slowing down the car so it can make a decision better and also keeps me safer when going through a roundabout at slower speeds. So I get the car all the way down to about 20 miles an hour before it enters a roundabout. Then I immediately get a message, apply the slight turning force and you can see the blue lines. The car recognizes that the road is curving. It then does a good job not taking that first exit and continuing through the roundabout and take a look at these blue lines. It notices that the road is curving left and it continues to turn the wheel in that direction. Now you can see my hands on there and it still asks me again to put turning force on the wheel. And so right here it gets too close to the curb and I'm not trying to get some curb rash on my rim. So I take over and carry on through the roundabout. So keep an eye on those two blue lines because that's gonna give us the most accurate representation of what the car is seeing. And again here, car knows a curve is coming up and it wants you to put pressure on the wheel to ensure that it's turning in the right direction or so that you can take over immediately if need be. And it, then it sees that the road is curving back to the left, but it doesn't go back to the left far enough even though I'm putting pressure on it or maybe I put too much pressure on it and took over. So that way my car didn't end up on the sidewalk. I really like watching this slowed down version because it gives you a sense of the speed that autopilot is able to make decisions. So take a look at the two blue lines and also the steering wheel and then you're going to get a sense on how quickly the vision system is able to make decisions. This next clip is going to go a little fast, it's unedited and in real time. So I slow the car down manually, approach the turn, apply a slight force here and the car recognizes where it needs to take the road even though it hesitates a little bit and I have to take over. If you're in the market for a new or leased Tesla S, X or 3, click the link down in the description and you can get 5,000 miles of free supercharging. Keep in mind this will revert back to 1,000 miles for orders placed after May 28th. So order today. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.